Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Okay, so for today's video, of course I have for you guys, um, I get so sidetracked. Of course I have for you guys my October favorites. Um, dang it, I forgot one lifestyle favorite. I went all the way to the kitchen like three times and kept forgetting why I went to the kitchen and now I'm gonna go get it, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now we can get started. I have beauty favorites and lifestyle favorites as always, and so we are just gonna go ahead and get into them. I actually don't have very much though. So yeah, also what I was going to say when I got sidetracked the first time was, I decided to do it this way because it's extra fallish, folly outside. Like it's extra autumny weather outside today. So I was like, ooh, let me show them the gray cloudy sky with a couple of trees back there that we have. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get into the favorites. I guess we could start with the makeup and we'll just start in the order that I do my makeup. So that way I don't get sidetracked. And um, one of these is a repeat from last month. Just because I need y'all to understand how much I like this makeup or this product. And I need you guys to go buy it. That's the only reason why. So, okay. Okay, so my first product, and I don't know, I don't think I talked about this last month. But, woo, a product that I've been loving so much. And no, it does not break me out. I have realized that it does not break me out. And it is so flipping good is the wet and wild impossible primer now this is a smoothing and hydrating primer and it's also a silicone free i absolutely agree with that the one silicone free primer that does it all i absolutely agree with that it's nice and cooling when you put it on the skin it fills in your pores but it doesn't mattify your skin and make your skin feel extra tight and dry so i really do like this primer go out and get it you don't need a lot i literally do like maybe half of my fingertip and i can put it here here and here where i have some problems with things seeping into my lines and it really seems to help this looks good under liquid foundation and powder foundation I mean, it's just that good. So if you are into Wet n Wild, I know a lot of people don't like that they're kind of cruelty free, but not because in the US they're cruelty free. But whenever they ship overseas, like the countries overseas will test on animals. So it's like they're half cruelty free. But anyways, this one is a really good product. Okay, the next two things that I was not expecting to like at all, but that these are the two brow pencils that I have been reaching for the most. And it kind of just depends on what kind of brow I'm looking for and also how fast I'm needing to get ready. So I really, really like these Ulta Beauty brow pencils. So you have the smaller one, smaller one which is the Ultra Slim brow pencil, and it's just your typical super thin brow pencil. Again, like I told you, you guys, these don't swatch well on your hand. It's a better swatch but on the eyebrow they apply so creamy but not too creamy so they're creamy when they apply them but they also stay in a place they do not move they will not budge i have this slightly in my brows today literally just filling in some brown some, some some brown some bald spots and then the other one i like is and i usually do not like pencils like this but i really like their um ulta beauty sculpting brow pencil and again it's it just i don't know like this one really does help now this is the one that's a terrible swatch but perfect on the brows and they're both the same when you swatch them they're exactly the same but for the Ultra Slim Brow Pencil, I have Dark Brown. And for the Definer, I have Espresso or Espresso. So they're the same color, but they're different names for the brow pencil. So again, Dark Brown for the Ultra Slim and then Espresso for the Sculpting Brow Pencil if you want to try them out and you and you match like my whole vibe of hair that I have going on. If we are brow shade twinsies. So yeah, there is that. Okay, and last month, I really started using this. I don't know why I didn't like this whenever I first got it. I think it's because the coverage, and I'll just go ahead and tell you what it is. That is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating, or Hydro hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer i have mine in the shade medium 11 in and i think i didn't like this because i would use it with the sponge and so whenever you use this product with a sponge you have to use a lot of product to get any type of coverage but if i use it with a brush which i actually don't mind this one with the brush it doesn't like 
because there are certain foundations that you use with the brush and it'll leave like brush streaks all over your face this one doesn't do that if you have the right brush don't get an extra flimsy brush you need a pretty dense brush but there are products that I have tried with the dense brush where I like my face is just streaky and I end up having to go over it with the sponge anyways. This one does not do that. I can use only a brush with this and it looks great. It makes my application so much faster. Um, and yeah, so this one's just really good. Now this is great for every day and especially if you're on the go because you don't have to work hard to blend it out. Um, if you're someone who kind of likes, like for instance, I have a lot of freckles, but I also have like a lot of breakout spots. But for the most part, a lot of what you see on my face right now is freckles. So if you're someone who has like freckles and beauty marks and you like for that to peek through and you don't want to look masked, I highly recommend this one. It lasts all day. It doesn't budge. I work out with this on and it still lasts through that. It gives you like not a dewy finish but like a glow from within type of finish like your skin just looks super healthy so that's why i really really like this one and again i am the shade medium 11 in because i do have neutral undertones and the one good way that you can tell if you like what your undertone is is if you just burn if you just sunburn you are a cool undertone if all you do is tan you are a warm undertone and if you are somebody that burns then tans then you are a neutral undertone i burn then tan all over my body so like sometimes my legs will just tan sometimes they burn and they then they tan but for the most part like everything else burns and tans so i'm a neutral so that's why i have medium 11 in neutral and it's not that dark for a medium if you ask me i know like sometimes you can get you can be like oh i'm medium and it ends up coming in and it's like tan but no this this shade is actually really perfect if for someone who's medium and neutral okay one product that i did fall back in love with i was just loving it with the setting powders i was using i love blending this out with a brush or a sponge and that is the rare beauty concealer i have mine in the shade 250w and i really really like this concealer it's just so good i was using this underneath i used a powder foundation like all of october because it was just super fast and easy and i used the bare minerals um powder foundation and i also used it whenever i would use a liquid foundation i wouldn't say that the bare minerals powder foundation did i say it was a favorite last month i can't remember but it's definitely not my favorite foundation powder but right now it's just the perfect shade for me um but yeah i really like this with that it was just looking great with no matter what i applied what i did it just looked so good so perfect so pretty it doesn't crease and the coverage is just enough so like obviously i don't have it on today but i like to where i still look like a person underneath my makeup for everyday look so yeah you can kind of tell i'm tired but like i personally am okay with that like i'm okay with still looking like like still showing my imperfections under my makeup especially if it's just for every day so yeah i just kind of liked how this enhanced everything and corrected a little bit but didn't mask everything and it was, if you can tell i've been getting really into like not full coverage makeup um and the only reason i've been getting into that is because i've been doing my makeup every single day so i do my makeup before i take my boys to school which means i have to wake up at five o'clock in the morning 5 30 in the morning to do my makeup before i take them to school and i've been scheduling out my days so just so that way i can fit that into my day because it is something i've truly been enjoying because i just kind of watched people who like for instance like jessica braun my older sister and i'm just like how do y'all put on makeup every day like i do not get it like if i get up and start my day without putting on makeup like nine times out of ten like i'm not putting on makeup for the, for the rest of the day but like i always admire people who can do like even if it's just a little bit a little something like it always like i just admire that and and I was watching a lot of TikToks and it was like the 40 plus TikTok. And I was just like, you know, and it's ladies and it's women who were stay at home moms and like they kind of just lost themselves. And so like they're kind of getting back into finding themselves, getting themselves dressed every day. And I was like, you know what, even for me being only 28, like this is really inspiring as a, like I said, like as a stay at home mom, because it's just like, okay, if I get up and I start my day and I'm doing stuff for the family already, like I'm probably not gonna do my makeup because I've already started tending to the family. Like I already missed my chance to tend to myself. And so it's just been really inspiring for me as a stay at home mom, even at 28, to wanna do my makeup. And that's why I'm into like this light everyday makeup where you look really put together, glowy and pretty, but I don't know. That was a whole tangent that I didn't need to go on, but I felt like I needed, I don't know. I guess encourage you like, 
Find a good makeup routine that works for you and do your makeup every day and just see how much more productive you are, how much better you feel throughout your day and like just more energized. It's so weird how it plays a role. Okay, the next thing I have is this Il Maquillage Mascara. Now, I really like this one for the lower lashes. I did receive this as a gift. Um, this is their black this is their black card eye lift eye curl lengthening mascara and i just don't like the packaging because the packaging gets super dirty but other than that i love this for the lower lashes like it leaves i don't like this for the top for the simple fact that it leaves your lashes super soft but it doesn't flake is what i really really like about it which is why i and it doesn't like smudge and smear and that's why i love it for the lower lashes and what i've been loving for my top lashes is the l'oreal air volume um mega mascara that's what i have on today i have both of these on obviously this one on top this one on bottom and i just feel like it really just enhances my natural lashes to where i don't feel like i need to pop on like some very simple lashes because like i said i've been trying to do makeup that's like i can get done within 10 to 15 minutes and so these two have been lifesavers i do about two coats of each on top and on bottom so yeah i really really been liking these um all, all this stuff will be linked down below Okay, this is my repeat from last month. This is the Milani Supercharged Cheek and Lip Multi-Stick. And this is the bronzer one. And I have Bronze Voltage, you guys. I just love this. I I don't know. It's just so freaking good. Now, I'm not, I didn't use it today. But I really love it for days where I have a little bit more time. So I can cream bronze and powder bronze. Or cream contour underneath everything. But... I don't know, I love this. I did figure out how to get it to work over powder. I also like it underneath my foundation. I like it like before my, like after my foundation, but before my powder. This bronzer is just so good. It's so creamy, so easy to blend out. I feel like you can never put too much of this bronzer on because it's that blendable and that good. So if you're looking for a good cream bronzer, just go ahead and try this one out. I promise you will not regret it. Um, really was really really enjoying was this complex cold con <laughs> y'all my tongue just gets all tongue twisted is this complex culture set go translucent powder and it clarity now I love this because for one it really does like it's it's really really like it's just it's weird because it feels like velvet between your fingers and it's also super smoothing and it sets your makeup down so pretty. Excuse me, and it sets your makeup down so freaking pretty where it's just like, oh my gosh. Like, so if you're looking for a really good setting powder, I believe Complex Culture you can only get on their website, but believe me, it's worth it. I absolutely love this powder. I've also mentioned this in previous favorites videos. So yeah, this one is one that I that I will randomly go back to where I'm like, why? Why do I stop using this? Do y'all have those products where you stop using them and then you go back to them and you're like, why did I stop using this again? But yeah, this is definitely one of those products. Okay, so for blush and bronzer, and I'm mentioning these together because they're the same brand and the exact same things, basically. But I was really loving these Juvia's Place bronzer palette and blush palette. So I have the Blush Rouge Palette Volume 2, which is crazy because Volume 2 is actually lighter than Volume 1. So this is the one that I went to because if you're fair, you can use this one. I like to mix them. Some days I will only go in with this one, but I feel like this one will be a little bit too ashy on its own. haven't tried it, but I just assume but um yeah I really love to mix them love this one on its own but my favorite thing about these is is that there's no kickback on them same thing with the bronzer and this one is just the bronze 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 one and again I just mix the two or sometimes I'll just go in with this one by my by itself and then I'll mix them to contour but if it's just to bronze I will go in with this one by itself again no kickback but the kip pigmentation is there and when I tell you there's like no kickback you will question you will question if you even have this product on your um brush because like there's that little kickback. You will question if you even got it on your brush. But I promise you it's there. So don't keep swirling and swirling and swirling. Or you're going to have problems. But still, these are both really, really good products. Okay, the next thing I got, and I'm surprised that I liked this. I really didn't think I was going to like this. But it was another spritzer where I had to learn how to spray it in order to like it. And this is the One Size Preserve the Serve Luminous Setting Mist. And so again, I, this was sent to me through Influencer. 
um, and I just you have to spray it slow so it's kind of like the NYX bear with me pump if you have that one it's exactly like that pump it smells so good and this really is luminous it's the spray that I use today and you can see that I just have kind of like this all over glow on my face and it's because of this because I don't have a highlighter all over my face I only have a highlighter like here here, here, and then right above my brows. But that glow that you see all over my face is because of the spray. And it is really good. I really, really like it. It's not bad at all. I didn't think I was going to like it. I didn't want to like it because I don't like buying high-end setting sprays. But it is good. Okay, so now into one skincare product that I have. And it's actually these Alaba Botanica Acne Dote Spots. So these are kind of like the Mighty Patches. But I feel like these are better. So you do get both sizes in one. So all I have are the big ones left. I already used up all the little ones. That's what the bigger ones look like. And these show the actual size of them on the side of the box. And I do need to go to Walmart and pick up some more of these because that's where I found these at. But these are so good. You leave them on your skin for eight hours. Why do I always burn myself right here? I just realized this is where I have my little C pan handle burn. And then I just burned myself with the steam from my coffee pot the other day. Something about this right wrist always getting burned. Okay, and so this one is no animal testing, no artificial colors, no synthetic fra fragrances, no parabens, no phthalates, no sulfates, 100% vegetarian ingredients. But now get this, whenever you have had this on for the eight hours, I feel like these work best when you sleep with them on, but you can literally, whenever you peel it off, you can see it peeling out the like, I don't know what comes out of pimples, but you can see it peeling that pus, I guess I wanna call it. I don't know what to call it. But you can see it pulling that stuff out of the pimple and then you'll just like give it a little squeeze and the rest will come out. And that's why I really, really like this because you can actually see it like pulling the, the impurities like out of your blemish that you are trying to get to go away. So freaking good. Okay, now my favorite things, my next favorite are these editing glasses. So I have these ones right here, which are just the tor tortoise print ones. And these are just blue light glasses. I get, the, I got, I buy them for editing because I don't need glasses. And it came in this three pack that I got off of Amazon. So it will be linked below. So it came with the, the tortoise and then it came with the clear. I really, really like these. I feel like they're the perfect shape for my face. I had some bigger square ones. But I think because I have like a more heart shaped rounder face, squares just not cute on me. Like I need something that has a little bit of like a curve. Squares just not cute on me. So I gave those to Brian because Brian likes to wear them like for fashion. But they also came with um, a black pair. And of course, everybody looks cute in a black pair of glasses. So yeah, these are all of these three pairs. And I believe I paid like 12 bucks for them. So I will definitely link these down below because I really, really love these. Um, especially like if you're just on your phone a lot or you sit at a computer all day, but you don't need glasses, but you need some affordable blue light glasses. These are really, really good. Okay, now we're getting into like the last two products, which are lifestyle. So one of the teas that I've been loving, and I've been meaning to mention this for like months, is this or um, this traditional medicinals smooth move um, tea. Now this says for occasional constipation. I have to drink this once a week just because like my, my digestive system is that bad, or I'll have. I'll go a really long time with having regular bowel movements and then all of a sudden like I'm constipated all the time so I will drink these once a week when I'm just having one of those months where my like it's just not working and this I tried to drink two bags of this one day and I did not stop pooping for like two days like like two days straight every time I went to the bathroom pooping so if you struggle with like digestive issues and you're like somebody who doesn't like to give into medications like me this is really really good to help relieve your that um constipation and just get things flowing and going and it's just it it works it works and the last thing i wanted to mention if you follow me on social media you would already know but i have really been loving and i get these from heb so if you don't live in texas and if you do live in texas but don't have an heb near you i am so so sorry but these H-E-B Multifit Dulce de Leche Oat Beverages, oh my gosh, these are so, so, so good. Like, I can't even, they taste like, it's not as cinnamony and milky as horchata, but I mean, it's, it's so good and I love it because you get your 12 grams of protein and 6 grams of fiber, and these so good and i just randomly bought them because i'm constantly buying 
protein drinks to see which ones I will like. And these have been the first one that I've liked. They also have chocolate and vanilla. So if you're not a Dulce de Leche fan or like an Orchata fan, like that's the only thing I can compare it to. Brian even really likes these. Like I'm having to buy these like by like, like at least 12 at a time because that's just the way we're drinking them because we're both drinking one a day. So every week I place an order for like 12. And so yeah, these are just so, so good. Um, these are shelf sustainable you don't have to refrigerate them i just enjoy them cold but they are so so good especially if you're someone like you have a hard time getting your protein in and you don't like a lot of protein drinks for whatever reason like those are not chalky they're not powdery they're so so good so yeah that is everything for the for my october favorite to you guys let me know what you guys were loving let me know just, I don't know, let me know if you were loving anything that I need to try or if I, or you were loving something even that I mentioned, like let's just conversate it, conversate about it down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.